Hello there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. I'm here today to look with you at an introduction to equations. To start off with, let's look at the different parts of an equation. Every equation that you work with is going to have several things in common. One thing that most equations will have is this what's called a variable. It's an unknown value. It is a value and it is a number. It's just a number that you don't know the value of at the current time. Later on, you may look at solving these equations and you'll solve for that variable. But that's the unknown and it's represented by letters like X or Y or A or B. Another thing that's found in equations are constants, just numbers, values that are fixed and don't change. In this equation here, that would be the 5 and the 17. Now, every equation has to have an equal sign. That shows that your equation is perfectly balanced. It's like a scale. The one side equals the other side. X plus 5 equals 17. It's kind of like a fill in the blank here. What value plus 5 is going to be equal to 17? Now you may be able to figure that out and determine that it has to be 12. So in this equation, the value of our variable, our unknown, would be 12. That then is the solution. Let's look at solutions now to equation. That's the value that you're going to find for the variable that's going to make that equation true. And how do you find your solution? Or let's say you're given some different values, as we'll do in examples in a moment. Go ahead and substitute a value into the equation, and then simplify it. If they're truly equal, then you have a solution. Let's take a look here at this equation. 3x minus 4 equals 11. And I want to know, is x my variable 3? Well, I'm going to take 3 and I'm going to multiply it by 3. So I'm substituting in 3 for x. Then I'm going to subtract 4. Does that equal 11? 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 minus 4 is equal to 5, not equal to 11. So my solution here, 3, excuse me, it's not a solution because 5 does not equal 11. So 3 would not be a solution. Now let's try 5. Let's put in 5 for x. 3 times 5 minus 4. Does that indeed equal 11? 3 times 5 is 15. And 15 minus 4 is 11. So this is a true statement. They are equal, and 5 would be my solution. 7, if we were to check that, would not work either. Now I want you to work through an example here. 4 plus 5x equals 39. Try these two, or these three solutions and tell me which one is indeed a solution. Which one gives us a true equation? Answer A, B, or C at the bottom of the screen. The only one of these that would work would be when x is 7. If I substitute in x is 7 here, I'll have 4 plus 5 times 7 equals 39. And 4 plus 35 does indeed equal 39. So 7 is my solution. It's the value of x in this equation. Now, I hope that looking through this has helped you better understand and give you new an introduction to equations. But if you need any more help in working with this algebra homework of yours, you need to sign up for Nutshell Math. I hope to see you there.